Jonathan Jared Selpy continues eruption coverage with more on how the lava flow is slowing down. And he explains using dish soap. Hey guys, we're up here in the kitchen to try to give you a better example and visual aid to show you how the lava flow is slowing down. This plate is going to represent the downslope of the volcano and its terrain. This plate, the flat saddle area, we keep referencing the flat area of the volcano that the lava is currently going to. This dish soap is going to represent the lava. It's coming out of its fissure up here, flowing down that downslope. And watch what happens as it reaches that plane. You can see it's spreading out and slowing down on that flat surface. Add in the cooling factor, and here's how HBO scientist in charge Ken Han explained it. It's going to slow down crossing this flat area and what we'll see is the front of the lava flow instead of being narrow channelized flow has spread out to a very broad front and uh, so a lot of the lava is just accumulating on this flat plain and it actually flattens out even more uh, towards the highway from there. Now speaking of the way lava moves, listen to this. Check out this video of an a uh -uh lava flow on the northeast flank. Now, a uh -uh lava flows have a rough surface composed of broken lava blocks called clinkers. The clinkery surface covers a massive dense core, which is the most active part of the flow. As pasty lava in the core travels downslope, the clinkers are carried along the surface. Now, however, at the leading edge of an a uh -uh flow, these cooled fragments tumble down the steep front and are buried by by the advancing flow. This produces a layer of fragments both at the bottom and the top of the uh, uh, flow. That was my best Bill Nye for you. I'm Jonathan Jared Sapi reporting. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, he tried chocolate. To, to your credit, he tried chocolate. He said it turned out really gross. Okay. So he went with the soap. Good to know. Yeah.